What's up, guys? This is Logo here, and I got some guests with me, so you guys introduce yourself. Hi, guys. This is Books. Hello, I'm Carbon. This is XR. Jake. Yeah. XR. Americans don't know how to introduce themselves, probably, <laughs> so they do <laughs> top of each other. That's decent. <laughs> but all right. Um, I got a private match running in the background from we just played earlier tonight without all bullshit, but uh, we're not going to talk about Modern Warfare 2 at all. We're talking about the... the Pro Perks challenges of Black Ops, and um, yeah, the first one I want to I would just go through them all. So the the lightweight, um, you need to escape death five times after being shot. You need to get 15 melee kills, and you need to get 10 of offense medals by killing ops near their objectives. So we take that first. What do you guys think about that? I, l I love the pro aspect where you actually have to do something objective based to get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's what's going to be really easy. Like, like if I'm after being yeah. shot. That, that's pretty pretty easy. And 15 melee kills, also pretty easy. Yeah, yeah I think lightweight's going to be a bit too easy, I think, compared yeah. to some of the other ones. Yeah. But I mean, like, compared to the other ones, I mean, I guess they have to have one easy one. Because the rest of them are pretty tough to get, it seems like. Oh. But yeah, well, one. We can, we can go on to the next one, because we all agree lightweight seems fairly easy and shouldn't be a problem to do and then the scavenger you have to get two kills without dying i wonder if anybody will ever <laughs> be able to do that <laughs> <laughs> um, and but get uh, get 10 lethal grenade kills with resupply grenades um i could imagine that being some sort of a spam fest me and wells talked about that but what do you guys take on that you know you need to throw grenades pick one new ones up and kill with that yeah uh -huh. Yeah, I think people just throw grenades like crazy people. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be like cut four with triple grenades at the start. Yeah, as long I, I guess as long as the map design isn't really linear like it was in COD four, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. But I don't know. It's, just, it's playing conservatively with scavenger, yeah, and it's just like yeah. throw throw them, kill one, throw one again. So it's kind of falls into the killing two people. Mm. But then, okay. technically, you could just chuck your grenade as soon as you spawn, pick up another one, then kill someone. Because it's not saying get two kills in one life. It's saying just do it with your second grenade. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's the ten lethal grenades. You need to get that. When not in, not in one life, you can just do it in 20 matches. It's not a problem. I don't think it will be yeah. that hard either, but I just think it could be a spam fest for people who are not that good at yeah. throwing them. They would just throw them random places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, the first challenge for that is to resupply 150 times, which also seems fairly easy. It's like Modern Warfare. It doesn't take that long. Mm. But and scavenger, scavenger Pro is still extra ammo, yeah? Extra ammo and, yeah, start with extra ammo. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and uh, if you guys were wondering, it replenished your tactical grenades, but not in, in two percent whatsoever. Oh, it doesn't? No. Oh, oh awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was waiting to hear. <laughs> <laughs> but if we move on again, I will just take control of this, because otherwise those Americans go crazy and talk about <laughs> crap. Um, the, the ghost challenge. Destroy 30 aircraft without kill streaks. Um, first off, I heard there shouldn't be a stinger, but I guess there must be some kind of stinger. Uh, otherwise, this will be kind of hard, I think. RPGs, I guess. Yeah, or m maybe if aircraft that includes uh, the spy planes and so on, and you can just shoot them down with your gun, like in Modern Warfare. Yeah. It, it shouldn't be that hard Not either. Doesn't seem too bad. No, and then destroy five sentry guns. And that could take time. <laughs> yeah. Not many I heard people tactic, will use though, you, could just, you could just throw your own sentry guns out into the enemy spawn and... Just do like that. Let them pick them up and then go and destroy them. <laughs> well, <laughs> in COD 4 you could knife your own, couldn't you? I mean, in Modern Warfare 2, can you knife your own? I don't know, but I think it has to be enemy sentry guns, otherwise it will be kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's that's how uh, only Use Me Blade got the uh, yeah. Blood of Pro thing. Yeah. Letting uh, enemies pick up his sentry guns. Alright. Maybe. But And then... Um, the, the first channels of the ghost is one of my favorites so far because it really fits to the perk that you have to kill t t 20 enemies while their spy plane or blackbird is up. I, I, I love the way they, they kind of make it so you have to 
use the perk what it's really is good for you. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. You can't yeah. be seen on spy plane and then you kill people with it. That's I feel I love the idea yeah. of that. Yeah. I think the ghost one is the one who's gonna take the most time out of the three we've gone through so far. Yeah. I mean, it's oh. not. If you play on a half decent team, it's not that often you see air support from the enemy team. Uh, true. Um, one thing about Ghost is if you've got the normal version, um, enemy kill sheets can still see you, but the spy plane doesn't see you, according to this website. Really? Yeah. The one that I linked earlier. It says undetectable by spy plane kill streak when you have this equipped. And then on yep. the Pro it says undetectable by aircraft, infrared and sentries. Yep. Plus you won't, they won't be able to see your name or red crosshairs. Yeah. So yeah. basically if you have a Pro, then kill streaks can still shoot you. Which kind of eliminates the tactic of throwing care packages into the enemy. <laughs> enemy <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess they thought ahead about that one, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. And, but... Moving on again, I'm a bit like that. Um, <laughs> flag jacket, plan to fuse ten bombs and demolition seems fairly easy. I mm-hmm. like that one. Yeah, yeah. again, it's I'm a fan of that ch- of those challenges because yeah. you actually got to go and defuse bombs. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and again, it's what the this perk is made for. You know, you can survive grenades, so you can plan or defuse. It will make it easier. Again, they they do a pretty good job with these on most of them. I think it's like kind of yeah. fit challenges for what the perk is probably going to be used most for um, but and then survive 10 explosions also seems fairly easy yeah. if, since you survive if a grenade line right is lying right next to you and um, throw back 5 enemy grenades I remember that's it. tough for me <laughs> yeah <laughs> that never throw that just but right get, get, get flag jacket pro then you refuse the uh, reset the fuse of a thrown grenade when you pick it up I think that's that's kind of badass. It's yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I sh- what I what I think about that because I never throw up grenades. I just run away from them. But <laughs> yeah. but, but people who who will learn this, you know, would you throw a well cooked grenade out and then I just pick it up and throw it right back at you? I will be kind of pissed. Yeah. I wonder how many times you can reset the fuse. <laughs> yeah, if you could just, just, just got two flag jacket pro guys just playing catch with a frag. <laughs> Fantastic. That will make for great videos. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like seeing two people throw a grenade back at each other in ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes. Hot, real hot potato. Yeah. Whoever blows up first loses. <laughs> Has anyone done that challenge in Modern Warfare 2, by the way? The hot potato? I yeah. don't think I have. I, <laughs> I did on my old account. I yeah, spent I spend the whole day yeah, just I've trying to throw back the mates. <laughs> I don't think I even have one point towards that. I always just run away. <laughs> i never done um, No. I, I think it was by the time when I didn't play with team, just play for fun with myself and maybe some of my real-life friends. <laughs> um, we just went in and did those kind of stuff. It was kind of easy. In the long run, but moving on again, hardline. I think this is going to be uh, the one noobs can't get, which I'm happy about that there is something they can't get because <laughs> earn and call in attack dogs. That means they have to get a ten kill streak with their gun. Uh, yeah, and you have to get a seven kill streak. Yeah, which I like the pr- I like pretty much the, the same thing though, isn't it? Because on the way to getting the attack dogs, you would have got the seven kill streak. Yeah, but True. then you also need to unlock the attack dogs. Buying them, and I I, I, heard, the, uh, I I heard somewhere, uh, I'm pretty sure about this that the the kill the kill streaks you can unlock everything, and when you have unlocked everything, then you can unlock the attack dogs. I'm <laughs> I'm not totally sure, but I'm pretty sure about it. Somewhere I I read it somewhere on a one of these pages which we're at right now, and uh, <laughs> so they need to unlock everything, and then get the attack dogs, and I doubt that a lot of Let's call them noobs. Will be able to do this. <laughs> I like the I like the thing that um, that is difficult to get. But I'm not going to play for the first couple of months. I'm not going to touch the dogs at all. Like I'm I'm going to run UAV counter UAV and run something that. else. There's no way. I, I love the dogs so much in World of War that I will 
But you know, if you need to unlock everything else first, then I will unlock them at the end, and I will hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> I would I would love to see how they work. I'm pretty sure I would try to go into a private match, just kill my friend ten times just to see how the dog works. <laughs> well, I hear they're a lot more powerful than they were in World of War. They're, yeah, they're one bite kills now. Yeah. And you couldn't kill them, could you? I think you can kill them. Yeah, you, you have to be able to kill them, otherwise they'd just be way too overpowered. Honestly, I heard though. That, I heard like if you don't shoot, it's kind of like you have permanent cold blooded with them or whatever. Like if you don't shoot or anything, then they won't attack you. Oh yeah, I heard that. But I don't know. Cool. If that's. I think they'll run around and kill people, but if you shoot, that'll immediately draw their attention to you specifically yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. That'd be like shooting at a harrier without cold blooded. It automatically turns on you. Yeah. I like that. 